Hey guys, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. In tonight's episode of Fusion Fortnite, in episode 12, we'll be covering the design, or the CAD design, of this soft face mallet. So the very first thing we'll be doing is drawing the head of the mallet, and it's fairly straightforward. Um, the probably only little trick here is doing an offset plane, but that's not really that hard. Uh, the next job we'll be doing is drawing the actual soft face end, uh, of course, then we'll be doing the handle. And last but not least, we'll learn how to copy a part and put it up there as well. Uh, we'll learn how to change all these over to, a, to components. And of course, we'll do the assembly, which uh, in Fusion 360 is called joints. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. And uh, yep, we'll start off drawing the mallet head first. So today we're going to create this uh, soft face mallet head. Uh, so up here, we're going to click up here, go new design. We're going to click on create a sketch. We want the ground plane. Two circles, so C for circle. Another circle. D for dimension. Dimension the inside circle first, 10.5 millimeters. Dimension the outside diameter second, and that'll be 32. Uh, e on the keyboard for extrude is the shortcut key. Click on the donut ring there, drag it up, type in 75 millimeters, hit enter. Okay, so here we have our cylinder with the threaded hole ready to be put in. What we're gonna do now is create an offset plane, so construct offset plane. Now there's other planes we could use, but I like using the offset, it works well for this application. Click on origin, we wanna select the YZ, and you can see the plane, here it is here, but we're gonna drag it out that side, and it's gonna be a minus 16, enter. Uh, click on the front view, then click on the left arrow to bring it around to the left view. Select the plane, you can see it here. Click it once it turns blue, put your right click on your mouse, and you wanna create a sketch. Okay, drag it in the middle where you can see it. R for rectangle, we're gonna draw a rectangle here. And the rectangle is going to be from here to there. That's going to be 21 millimeters. And the overall distance or the width of the rectangle is going to be 40. Now, once we do that, we can move it down here so we can see it. As, as always, guys, um, position your dimensions where they can easily be seen um, and make sure they're nice and neat. Alrighty, so what we need to do now, we need to orientate this rectangle so it's within the uh, halfway, of course, and halfway this way as well, or in the center. So D for dimension. We're going to click uh, this bottom line here and click the bottom edge of our cylinder and drag it to its inline Then We're gonna put a formula, a formula in. Bracket, okay, so open bracket. This is gonna be 75, subtract, so minus 21, close brackets, divided by, so use the slash line, put two, click enter, and you'll see the dimension's 27. Now we're gonna do a diameter from here. We need to click this uh, edge of the rectangle here, click the bottom point and drag up, and this dimension here needs to be four millimeters, enter. Okay, now just to ensure that that is spot on, you watch if I use the inspect button here, I can click this line here and click that point and you'll see here that it's four millimeters. So I, now, I know this rectangle is perfectly positioned in the center. E is the shortcut on the keyboard you want for extrude. We're gonna click that rectangle, go back to our home view. You can see it here, I'm gonna cut in now. You notice it's saying cut and it's in a direction of five. We're gonna go three mil, so change the five to three and accept it. When we come around here now, I can click up here to another isometric, you can see this nice cut. And this is exactly how your job will look uh, on the milling machine when you start milling it, okay? We wanna select that flat, flat face now and press alpha line on the keyboard. We're gonna do two diagonal construction lines. And this is the same thing you'll do in the workshop to find the center point when you're constructing this. Escape out of that. We wanna pick up the line you drew, hold the shift key, select the other line, okay? Come to the top of our sketch palette and click construction. This now gives us the center point where to put the circle. So C for circle on the keyboard. Snap it to the center, drag out, D for dimension. This will also be 10.5. We wanna extrude that now. So we click on that circle we've drawn here you'll see one is selected. Now, see the arrow here? If I pull this way, it's gonna add 
it's going to join, but we want to go below. We want to go below to a distance of minus 12 and ensure that it says cut, click OK. So here we have the mallet head, it's nearly drawn. All we've got to do is put the thread in it. And this thread will be for a cosmetic appearance. So create thread, we're going to click this hole and ensure it works first, 12 millimeters. Remember, uh, normal standard isometric uh, is 12 by 1.75. We're going to select 1.5. And this will just give us a couple more threads for gripping on. Click OK. So I have the threaded down the center here, but we forgot to do this thread here. So down in our timeline, remember to edit your CAD work. Right click on it, edit feature. You can see one is selected, okay? See how it won't let me select it? Hold the control key down and it will allow you, look at that. Control key selected, click OK. And there we have it. We don't forget to save your work, guys. So you're gonna click up here, save. Now, you wanna make sure you're going in the right location. So data panel open and ensure that it's going where your instructor or teacher wants you to put it. So for my students will be in their engineering folder, they'll double click on that in the datum panel. And here they'll go here and they'll click save in here and it will go into the data panel. Okay, don't forget to call it when you save it. You're gonna call this, the entire job will be soft faced mallet and click save. Okay. Our next step to do here is to create the soft faced end of the mallets, okay? It's, there, it's quite an easy little task, this one. Uh, so go back to our original design, and you can see here it is here what we've drawn. But the first thing we need to do is create a component from this body. So in bodies, click the drop down, you see body one. You're gonna select it, right click on it, you're gonna go create component from bodies. Okay, and you can see it's been created here. So let's rename that by clicking on it twice. So watch again, click it once, click it twice, and call that mallet head enter, all right? So now we can turn off that body so it's not in our way and we, we can't get distracted by it. And I'm gonna click save before I go any further. Click create a sketch, click this ground plane one more time, C for circle. And we're going to just draw a circle and it's going to be a dimension of 32 millimeters. E for extrude. We're going to extrude that up um, to 25. Click OK. Now we're going to click on that top face, C for circle again, and draw another circle. D for dimension and dimension that at 12 mil. E for extrude and extrude that up. 25. Click OK. Rightio. So what we need to do now to this body is click this bottom edge here and we're going to go modify, put a fillet on at one millimeter, 1.0, enter. And now we need to put a thread on this end here. So click that cylindrical face, click create, thread. Uh, once again, it's going to be 12 millimeters by 1.5 mil pitch. So 12, isometric 12, 1.5. Click OK and we have this cosmetic thread here. You can see we've got the little fillet and thread and that's just about done. Back to our ISO view. Once again, right click on the body, create component from body, and here it is here. Okay, we've got mallet head, component. So we're gonna click it again and we're gonna make this soft face. And you can see them here they are here. Although they're hidden inside one another, we can get them out when we start the assembly task. Okay, the next step in our soft face mallet is to, of course, to design and create the hammer handle, the mallet handle here. Uh, you can see it's very easy to do. It's just a simple sketch and a revolve and of course a cosmetic thread on the end. I'll use the playback function here, you can see this. So let's get into it. So we're going back to our design, our soft face mallet design. Uh, make sure you've regularly save it, of course. I'm gonna turn off both of my components I'm going to click create a sketch and I click on this front window here. The first thing I'm going to do is create a, a normal rectangle. So R for rectangle, snap to the center and drag out. Now the length of the rectangle, okay, so from this end to that end is going to be 280 millimeters. The height of our rectangle from the baseline to the top line here is going to be 10 because it's going to be 10 because that's the radius dimension. Overall, it will be 20 mil diameter. Now, the first thing we need to do, you can see the length of it here. We need to zoom into this 
left hand corner. And we need to do a little bit of work here. So alpha line, what I want you to do is just simply snap a line from here and drag out and drag up. Now when you drag your lines, ensure you keep them vertical and horizontal. Don't have them deviating off to an angle. D for dimension, from the baseline to this line here, that's going to be nine millimeters. Okay, so we can make those a bit neater. D for dimension. Now, from this edge here to that edge there will be 10 millimeters. Now, what we need to do now is trim this section out. So watch how we do this. We're gonna use the trimming tool. If you can't find it, sketch, and I believe it's right there. The shortcut key is T. So T for trim. We wanna click that line and click that line. And that end is now done. Escape out of that so you don't delete anything else. Use your center mouse key, of course, to click and hold and drag your, po your uh, sketch left and right. Of course, your scroll wheel will also zoom in and zoom out. Okay, now we need to start on this end here. Once again, alpha line. And we're gonna snap a line here from the edge. Don't, remember when you snap, snap to the line and drag out. Don't drag on an angle. Keep it horizontal, okay? Uh, roughly 20 mil, we're gonna drag up in here. We can put a dimension on that now, D for dimension. So from here to here will be 20 millimeters. The height from the baseline to this line is going to be six because its radius over in the diameter would be 12. Now, we've got this little section here pretty well, but we need to put a little cutaway in here. And that's where the parting off tool, and this is what you'll do on the lathe to, re, to put a relief. So when you're cutting the thread on the lathe, it will drop into that. So alpha line, we're gonna snap it to that corner. So watch where I'm snapping it, snap it to that corner and come down, across, and back up again, all right? Now, what we need to do is put some little dimensions on this here. So the width of our channel will be three, okay? The depth of this, so from this line to that line, that's going to be 0 0.75, okay? What we can do now, we can cut these couple things away to, to clear it up for you. So T, T for trim, so the T is our trimming tool. We click that top line, click that side line, okay? Now, this one little line here, click it and cut it away. At any time you make a mistake, just use the go back button to fix it, okay? Righto. Zoom out a little bit here. Now we need to put a line in the angle up here, which is quite easy to do. So alpha line, we're gonna snap it here, come down, and just drag that line out now. So I'm gonna zoom out here, I'm just gonna drag it out here and terminate it, escape. Okay, this will make sense in a second when I zoom back in and show you. D for dimension, so from this line to that line, that will be 10 millimeters. Once again, drag your dimensions up so they're in line, they look neat and tidy. And any time you make a mistake, someone can come over and check and help you out. Okay, so we need to put a dimension from this ground line to this point. Okay, see where I click that? Watch again, D for dimension, the ground line. Don't click the line, don't click the other line. So what I've done here, I click the line, let go of the mouse key, get that point, click it, let go of the mouse key, and click it again. And that will be six. Okay, so. What we're going to do now is dimension uh, an angle dimension on here. So this one from here to here will be two, two degrees. Now, trim tool, T for trim. And what we're going to do now is just cut that line there and zoom back out, cut that line there. And we pretty much have it now, escape. So what we can do now is click, click Create, Revolve. You can see our sketch profile. So pick the profile, axes, want, you want the bottom line. And you can see hits form the hammer, click OK. Put it back into our home view, our ISO view. Now we need to put a thread on here, okay? So Create, Thread, 
we're going to click here 12 mil by 1.5 click OK and pretty much done what we need to do now is convert this body so here's body 3 right click on it create component from body and there it is there and we're going to call that uh, handle or mallet handle okay save it alrighty now we can start doing some assembly okay so if we turn everything on you can see our parts are all over the shop here that's okay it's not a big deal so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble this into the mallet okay so here we go we're going to click on joint we're going to zoom in we're going to touch this face hold the control key again and you'll see it snap to the center I click it let go I drag out now I want to get around here to see this other side so if I click this corner there it is there you can see component one is selected now I need to select where that's going to go okay so here we go here again I'm going to touch that face watch again touch the flat face hold the control key and snap the little circle into the center there you want to ensure it's a rigid joint okay rigid you can animate that and you can see it's rigid click OK okay so now we need to put one end of the soft face in so to get that you can see it's hidden behind the head just quickly we're going to turn off the light bulb I'm going to go joint okay I'm going to touch this bottom face here hold the control key see I touch the face control key snap it zoom out I'm going to turn on my head but turn off the soft face and I need to get around underneath and there it is there click that face control key turn the soft face back on and there we have it so there's one end in click save before we go any further now we need two soft face ends so we need to copy one of them so we're going to click that there right click and go um, copy then control V to paste it okay so shortcut on the keyboard was control V for paste what I'm going to do now you can see don't click OK grab that center icon there and pull it up here so it's out of the way all right what I'm going to do now I'm going to leave it like that click OK I'm going to go joint I'm going to select this face but hold the control key so it snaps to the center come down here select that face control key snap it to the center and insert it and keep it as a rigid joint and there we have it there's our soft face mallet save our work and it should be pretty much done okay now there's only one little problem here and I think we need to edit that now part of our CAD curriculum here in Victoria guys is the ability to actually uh, if you come across a mistake to edit your mistake and fix it now we need to find that original sketch okay and there it is there we need to go so see where I'm in the timeline here I'm coming back there's the revolve you can see it's sort of hidden over here there's the sketch I need to right click on the sketch and go edit sketch now see my components are in the road so I'm going to turn them off sketches sorry I shouldn't have turned sketches off so where this one says 10 mil you're going to change that to 5 mil enter stop sketch come back to my view I'm going to turn these back on and there we have it and it's corrected okay front view there's our soft face mallet looks exactly like the one I've designed save our work well that concludes today's lesson on the soft face mallet design using Fusion 360 if you'd like to watch me make this mallet on my metal lathe in my home workshop click on the link here as always I welcome your feedback and appreciate your likes and shares see you next time cheers Let's <laughs> go.